We back. ASAP from the nap. How y'all doing? Well, good to be back, boys. <laughs> How are we doing? Pretty good. I'm good. Starting I'm off the week chill. strong. How's school treating y'all so far? Pretty good. Just had a MLK day. Shout out MLK. Shout out. Definitely Martin shout Luke. out MLK, man. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. But it was good to get that day off, though, for sure. All due respects to Martin Luther King. Well, oh, yeah. boys, we had some new music dropping this week. Lots of music. And, uh... Well, this is what this episode is going to be about primarily, just our new music that we've had released so far this past year. And to start off, something to prove, little baby. All right. This song, this came out of nowhere. I I, I felt like he just dropped it, no warning, and he just came through talking. Well, he had been talking about his album coming out soon, so... Mm -hmm. I think I'm sure he had to drop be on something there, yeah, it. for sure. Yeah, I mean, do you think this is going to be on his new album, though, that he's been talking about? Yeah. It's just a single... I yeah, they always so. pr- the pre-releases. I guarantee this one will be on I there. I think Baby slept on, bro. I like his voice. I like his flow. I mean, yeah, it can be, sometimes be hard to understand because like he goes in like different pitches. I've noticed yeah. too. So I mean, it, it could vary with him, but I definitely think he's one of the most, I, I mean, relatable artists. It seems like. I mean, he just seems like he's like Matt always says, living life to the fullest. He's always <laughs> on a vibe. Yeah, and I like that he can like he always seems to like kind of relate everything to what he's saying just to his fans like even if you're not from exactly the same circumstances as him like he'll still release and say certain things that everybody can relate to which is why he's where he's at today exactly i think with him it's either like you know early in the song whether you're gonna like it or you're not that's how i so like i feel like that's how it is with his songs it's either you like the songs or you don't like he's got bangers don't get me wrong he's got plenty of songs that i like but he's also got some that i don't like too so he also just makes like a lot of vibes you just gotta be in the mood i guess yeah i think he he kind of reminds me of nav in the sense that like like you said he produces just like just straight vibes like you'll either fuck with it or you're not. You know what I'm saying? It's literally just hit or miss with him. I think there's a lot of artists like that. Exactly. Where it's just hit or miss. But most of the time with me, when I'm listening to Baby, it's a hit. Like in my eyes. I mean, mm-hmm. something to prove, I think that he was speaking his shit in that. I like that. I remember him coming up too at first. Because um, he came up off the That's My Dog song. That's My Dog. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. I, I like liked him at first, but I didn't really listen to him like fully until like, I think it was not the street gospel, the one with fit in. What which one's that one? Oh, um, I'll look it up. I, I mean, forget I, that album, but that that's the that's, the that's the one I kind of started listening I'm to. Him, I man. don't know that album, bro. How the hell do I not know that? It is. Um, I haven't listened. To Harder it. than ever. That's yeah, the album. Yeah, yeah. And that's that a was, fire ass album. Was, was that 2018? Right. Uh, maybe 2017. Yeah, but yeah it was probably yeah probably 2018. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it was fire, fire. But uh, Money Bag Yo released a. Album. Um, I'm a hard I, album. I didn't time sir. Hard I didn't album. listen to much of the album, but for the songs that I did listen to, because I listened to uh, "You Played with Baby," "Little Baby," that one was pretty That's tough. Fire, yep. One, two, three with Black Youngster, low key slapped. I like the different melodies, the different courses they had on that. And then uh, protect the ba- oh no protect the brand featuring the baby. baby that oh, song man. any any feature with the baby in it. He's like, just got a good. Uh, I feel like this whole album's just got a. Then that might, that's kind of money bag too. It's just got that bounce to it, you know. Like protect pr- protect the brand. Like that's just a bounce the whole entire song. And then one two three, it's the same thing. And that's kind of like how one, Black Youngsta is too. One two three, let's go. But Black Youngsta is so funny. <laughs> I like Black Youngsta. I love love his Narvor interview. Know. Hey, you the police or something? <laughs> huh? Who is you? How do you know that? <laughs> he does not care. He's he lame. was so confused that entire time. He said, "Why would I switch out my dime for a penny?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I think, but there was like a huge like spike in his sales between this album and the last one he had released. So I feel like it's he's features. Doing something like, right. That's like with Moneybag and some. There's certain artists I like don't listen to particular particularly but like if they have a lot of features i'll kind of like go through and listen to only I those think, ones and I he had yeah. he had some good ones he had oh, future on sure. the album too like mm-hmm. and then he had a he had a couple bang, obviously a couple bangers on that and then also i think meg got him some clout too dating meg yeah. like that mm-hmm. definitely got him some are they still dating questions. or are they not because whenever, I don't know. whenever I don't that song so. came out i don't even like know that. that had to have been kind of quick as it was i don't even yeah, I, don't I don't even know. remember like that really being a thing for that long because there was a talk on twitter about how that whenever he released that song that he was talking about 
he was like dissing her in that like that they had broken up but at the same time i'm hearing like other songs where he's get like they're getting mentioned together as a couple like still really yeah so it's like i don't know they, yeah i don't I'm know honestly if they're not together sure. or not maybe he did that just to, like i don't know just to get the media people off talking because they're such a power yeah. couple you know i mean they're two of the biggest rising stars in the industry yeah. so. it's kind of like he, trav he, and kylie i think he I did think have, have a exactly song he had a song on this album called real love with summer walker and like i don't know like kind of him talking about that he's just talking about how he wants something real and i don't know if that translates to that possibly too or what but. yeah i don't know man i feel like out in hollywood it'd just be hard to find something real because it seems like because because at that point you've already established so much success like mm-hmm. you've established yourself in the industry and at that point it's just hard to tell who's real and who's fake i feel like it'd just be hard just out there west coast sure. you have everyone leeching at you like, especially exactly. if you're both like at that level it's yeah, like do you know if this yeah. person's doing it if they actually like me or they like the image of being with me that, you know, brings feel, more yeah, fans feel, to themselves. But overall, I mean, I'm coming around on Moneybag overall. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm like, starting to, I'm starting like to get Bag. there. I mean, I've known about him for years now. I just have never really got into him like that. He was at that. He was at the Wiz concert this summer, wasn't he? Him and Wiz, him, Wiz French Montana. Yeah, yep, he did. Uh, Cardi was supposed to be on that tour, though. What the fuck? Man, I was pissed when I found out he wasn't coming because I'm telling you. Cardi's- I know. Oh, yeah, when he canceled, it was like, was that like a week and a half yeah, before? Yeah, week and a half Dude, before, I, oh, I was about man. to flip shit. It was from uh, Protect, the, Protect the Brand, that song. The baby says, stepping out like a Megan Yo. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you are right. It was yeah. the same album, so yeah. Th- so obviously that tweet that was talking about, but then, him then was Meg, wrong. Meg released some video on Twitter. Did you see it with her and like two of her girlfriends, like just sh- all like shaking their ass? They looked like they're something <laughs> yeah. like yeah, I don't yeah. even know, like what a bago or some shit, just shaking ass. And She's like, always out here. Her, if you haven't watched Meg's, I show him She's all the time. Fool, her bro. stories, bro. She is a fool. She's so <laughs> funny, bro. Where where the hell was she out at? Where she saw that? She said it's a it's a donkey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't said? know where she's like. Where the fuck? Fuck these donkeys come from. <laughs> There's just literal donkeys just rolling in their fucking backyard. It's like, God damn, you're really out. I don't know where the hell they were. Yeah, I, I'm be, not sure where they were. It was I, like I, beach, I like ocean right out back it where looked, they were. It, it was like crazy. It either be in like the Caribbean or somewhere in Central America, just judging by like the climate <laughs> Probably. that you saw. I mean, it was sunny. There was a beach right there. I mean, if you got donkeys walking in the damn backyard, that kind of gives me the indication, yeah, this ain't America. <laughs> Hey, but that would be a that would be a breed if those two had a kid. That's what Meg I'm saying, dude. We, I yeah. was yeah. that. I'm, You're I'm right. That, that he baby. says that in one of the songs. He goes, "My height six <laughs> yeah. He says it in Wait, the song. She's tall Wait, too. Yeah, she's she, tall too. Is she's she taller three. than? I don't know about that. Would you, would you ever date a chick that was up taller up. than you? Be honest, like. I mean, if she bad, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I damn near okay. dig them long legs, bro. Long legs are definitely like I don't know, like a turn on. I don't want it to I'm be like. Long legs. I'm not gonna like be look. I'm not gonna face. be looking up at you or anything. But if you're just a, like slightly taller, or even if you're a couple inches, if you're bad, like. I'll make that I sacrifice. Like, well, I mean, shit, you're, you're celebrity crush, what, at least join her? She might have some title. She might have a little name it's, drop. She might have a little we name dropping. <laughs> I mean, shit, at least. She's nice. She's she nice. is, though. On uh, Double Shot at Love, she won that. She, she got the bag, for sure, for sure. She that can have my heart if she wants it, too. <laughs> 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 there hey, were but. some bad on that show though <laughs> for I, sure. really, dude, I, I never really watched that show I didn't even a lot know of them were hard for, uh, it was hard to there were a most lot of, of crazy them. bitches on that show too bro <laughs> me and me and Vox used to watch that shit all the time <laughs> last summer bro I used to go over to his crib drink a couple brewskis watch some of that that was a good was, show it was bro good. it was really good, good. they're they, just characters too that's probably what made it so interesting and they just got so know. crazy over them just because they were like celeb oh, they had that celebrity status <laughs> like bitches crying like every night I know like show. at that point it it's like drunk. now we can see what you're after like and that's what they talked about on the show like they tried to weed out the ones who were fangirling and just the, vulnerable like, the one, yeah, yeah like, I feel that. and there were some girls on there that just went throughout the entire time without even talking like I think they're I think the chick's name was Britney, if I'm not mistaken. It was this, like, blonde chick, kind of, like, taller blonde chick, but I'm not playing. Like, she survived, like, midway through the game, and she hadn't even had one night with either Paulie or Vinny. And it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? How is this bitch still here? That's she hadn't even gone out of her way to have a conversation, maybe a cup of coffee, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. 
Hey, so, but uh, yeah. So what other music? Keeping drop? this going. <laughs> Hey, we got uh, Hella Neck. That was by Carnage and uh, OGZ Tiger and Takeoff. Right? I did was. not even. I'm not even in front. Like when I first played that, I didn't know who OGZ was. I, wait, mm, Shoreline, yeah, Shoreline yeah, Mafia. I, I mean, I knew. I I recognized his face, but I didn't. I, I couldn't put the face with the yeah, name. Yeah. But when I heard him on that, that motherfucker's got. He's good at with the chorus. Shoreline's hard I like too. I, I I love Shoreline. They came. Flow. They come to India decent amount. They'll be a Rolling too. Loud too. Yeah, they'll be a Rolling yeah, Loud. Yeah, he, he sure. was in the after movie. I remember him seeing him on the after movie. There was a oh my god, I could have sworn that Matt Ox looks similar to a uh, Long Neck. I confused him <laughs> for Long Neck, and Ethan's like, no, he would feel no, that's Matt Ox. That he you know how Ethan man. is. Like uh, anything that I do wrong, he absolutely. Goes insane. No. <laughs> well, if it's no. something that I know, I'm no. like, hey, I'm you're, just gonna tell you how it wrong. is. Like, hey, no, <laughs> you're wrong. I'm right always, <laughs> Mr. Self Righteous. Get <laughs> but yeah, that song did slap. Shout out. Hey, to yeah, that's and that's sure. a vibe. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that they would release a video for it because that's just kind of one of those vibes, you know, Carnage, Tyga, one of the club Shout songs, out, you know, Tyga. take off. Takeoff too, yeah, I love Takeoff. So easily my favorite. Yeah, of the for Migos. sure. I think Takeoff is easily. I think in the Migos, I think I've Quavo, always kind of been like Quavo that. Quavo has I've always the best voice. More. Offset has the best flow, and Takeoff easily has the best lyrics. And he absolutely brought. See, it I don't even know if I would like categorize them like that. They're all so good now. Yeah, what they do, I just, I just love. I, I've always liked Takeoff because at first he was always the one everybody didn't really talk about. So I was like, I'm just gonna start fucking. With and this guy. we did find out that the Culture Three they said they put last chapter with that caption. Yeah. So there's like this is the last. Is this like the last, the last album, album them Amigos together? together. Maybe, it's they, got. I mean, I, that's not a bad thing because they've all flourished in like their solo careers. Oh, too. for sure, man. And ta- Takeoff is kind of on the downside of versus Quavo and Offset. They've been in a lot more shit, but like he released his first solo album finally. Only I think that was only last year. Yeah, Takeoff solo album was hot. What was that? Oh, was fire. Uh, I think it was. Does uh, it look like I got left off bad and bougie? <laughs> yeah, he got he got heated out of that shit too, bro. Because people don't give him that respect. He's I know no he's, one just, ever he's, he's just exactly a, like them. Dude, he's bro. family to play, he's, bro. Like, he's not like he's not as like he just don't talk to the media. He does. Yeah, he's, he's not, not as much flashy. Personality. That's all it is. He likes. He's more reserved. It's kind of like Cardi and Uzi. How they're never like you'll never hardly get an interview out of Cardi and Uzi. I think Takeoff's game to the same way. But I think we can all agree you can tell Takeoff's been doing well because his fucking chain he got from Elliot. Whole ass oh, like solar system. He's got some crazy shit. No yeah. why? They all got, got Saturn. They got some crazy like, everything. They, yeah, they, the James <laughs> Corden they put, thing. I oh, know. Just pulls oh, out. He said, uh, just, "How many did they count?" He said, 220 smack two hundred twenty smackers. Two seventy. <laughs> two ninety. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you got to see his personality 000. if you watch that video too. He kind of gets yeah, into it. Cool. <laughs> you can definitely tell like he's the most like reserved in the group though. Like Offset and Quavo are much more appealing to the media rather than take off because he's a little bit more quiet. Obviously, exactly. So. And you got to think like that wears on certain people. Some people just have that energy and that vibe to them where they love talking to people all the time and that's just them. But I feel like that's Takeoff's a, just... See, he's that, just one of those guys he's like, I just want to go to the studio and talk there and I'm just going to be chilling right. when we're out. Where I'm making money. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. But uh, life is good. This Drake and Future. How about it, boys? That shit Fire. The switch that. up was nasty. Hey, but we going to have that album We need that too. album. Hey, what, what a time, time to be alive, to be alive is, Hey, if that's any indication on how the album is, we're in for a damn And, and I know there's not a, there's not a fucking soul in the in the world right now that doesn't remember when that album dropped that first. I remember one. the I remember it was sophomore year. Uh, it was 2015, right? Yeah, yeah, 2015. Are we it was talking my teams? Sophomore football season. I remember we used to play Jumpman every Jump game. Man. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my lord. They had then, a, that's I'm literally right around the time Rodeo released too. The yeah, a- that Antidote was, that was getting popping, bro. Mm-hmm. I think Antidote really like got everyone to know. Who the 3500 was, was going yeah because antidote was that first one that made him pop too Dude, that, that time I, I just can't stand people when they say i fuck with uh i fuck with the video for this song though a lot because like it oh, showcases nice. like life's good but it's like showcasing them going through just a ton of different american jobs you know like yeah, they would a ton of jobs know. that everybody's going to be experiencing so it's just a relation factor like how we talk what was about. the favorite job you saw on that 
Uh, probably the I like when they're in the Apple Store just because yeah, the audience. Yeah, I was gonna say that bro, too. I, I fuck with them as like garbage, man. Just imagine you're. Going I like that. No, I, I like them though why. in the in the restaurant because Twenty One Savage <laughs> and Mike Will there. made it. Uh, yeah, Mike Will made it. Who else was in that? I think Doughboy might have. Was Doughboy in there? I don't think Doughboy was mm-hmm. in there. I think um, it was Yachty. Mike Will made it. Twenty One Future Drake. There was one more cameo though that I can't remember who it was. It was an older guy. Mm-hmm. I, I know forget. that for a fact. It was Friday. But just imagine you're working at McDonald's, Elijah, and Drake and Future walk in and say, "Hey, do you mind if we film a music video?" Well, what, what would your reaction? I swear, like, what store? Imagine, 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 imagine like actually working at that place, like. Uh, so I don't, how would they manage to do that? Like, they just shut down operations. For yeah, two you. Days? They like, probably pay him to shut down for the day. It's They'll it's, pay him yeah. way more than they're probably gonna know, make for yeah, their day. That would be an issue. That's all you got to do for him. He probably pulled up with fifty grand. Hey, give us it for the. <laughs> they day. even had like a an a, like. Like fans allowed to come in and like for the, the day they were shooting that video and they had that whole place was like loaded with people just to see them. Like, oh, everybody they, wants to go yeah. up and order order for twenty one. Oh yeah, oh, no. that would be. I'll awesome. try to get up there and do that. <laughs> just imagine he's your damn cashier. Twenty one. Hey, twenty one. If we 21. put on a video for somebody, then that's all I'm saying. Hey, but that's I'm I don't know though that I think that album's really gonna be nice coming through because they've talked. There's been a lot of talk lately about them just being one of those legendary duos. Like they are, bro. They come from. I mean, do you think who who do you think is the best duo? Do, where would you? Or my, here's my main question: Where would you rank them in rap duos? Like, would you say mm, they're in like your top five? I mean, I don't even know if I'd like or top three like your favorite put a top, duos, but yeah like, I mean I'd, I'd probably put him in my top five for a duo yeah, yeah for sure Thug, Travis I think is one especially growing up around the time to, that I did yeah, I mean have to. these are the guys that there. started they, popping when we were growing up oh for sure in high school I, I'm telling you that album everybody and I'm not playing everybody was bumping that shit shit some of the teachers were 2013. bumping that shit <laughs> they had some good 2013 songs. wasn't it no it was 2015 cause it was my sophomore year mm. But that shit was hot though, no lie. But hey, uh, but uh, Eminem dropped an album too. That I don't know. I swear this man, dead, yeah, baby. he's like he's like silent, and then out of nowhere he'll just drop some shit. It seems. Well, like people that. bring his name into the light, and he has no uh, no choice. Like Nick Cannon beefing with him. Why? Like Nick Cannon, your career is nowhere oh, yeah. near the career that Eminem is. And I mean, like I think anyone yeah, he needs, with a, he like, needs to cut cl- that. clear conscience can figure that out. I I just gotta say, like on the one with Juice. I, you got it Godzilla right, bro. He he spit amazing. faster than Rap God at the end of that. Oh, he song. did, bro. There's, like, for he sure. was going way too right. quick. Oh my god, you got a damn near see if that's a world record for like how fast <laughs> he spit. Because I remember, I know the what the world record is. There's this song I can't remember what the hell it's called. It's, I think the artist's name is Blaze, Lil Blaze or something like that. But this man. It, I remember this Borsum, went off. Yeah, Borzum showed me this like when I, we were like 13, and he showed me this. Yeah, it's like just this clip of this dude going off, which it's a terrible song because obviously the flow is way too fast for the beat. But still, you could see this man. I mean, was that's the, off, and that's the thing you gotta appreciate. Life. Like Eminem, you hear him when he's starting to speed up at the end. It kind of does get off beat for a little bit, and then all of a sudden he's just right back. He on just, if you take the in. whole like, if you see like if you where he started that verse and where it ended it and he did he spit like so much in a matter of just like 35 seconds and i love that he crazy i love that he put juice on the song too it was like literally just a tribute like he killed this shit like also (laughs) on his album he got some backlash because uh really that song darkness was about that shooting at ariana grande's concert which happened in vegas you guys remember that the last yeah yeah, i I do remember when all that happened yeah he like sang about that and what did he say in the lyrics well there's literally a it's like there's literally a point where you hear like gunshots and he's like talk explaining about how you know he doesn't want to be alone just trying to justify like i guess he's just putting himself in the mind of the shooter i mean the the album's called music to be murdered by like that's literally I I think, I think he's just trying to trying to showcase a situation where yeah. something really involves kind of the album, album it relates name. to the album title yeah just like I said. but I feel you like for people to get on his head about that I mean 
He's just just because it was a controversial yeah, event, I mean, people are always going to Yeah, that's how, that's how, you know, that's how it ends up being. Yeah. And they had Don on there. Big Don. Don, Don Tolliver made the up, bro. That we surprised, said it. We that surprised me. I, I did not expect for I him know to be that, on that, yeah. no, I did not expect that. Either. I, was, I didn't expect him to be releasing it. music in general. Yeah, anymore. I swear, like, like he dropped I, it out of nowhere. I was convinced he's done. I mean, after those diss tracks with MGK, Nick Cannon, like, I thought... That was, I mean, he was just. I thought he was just gonna be doing diss tracks from now on. He had young, but he had young. But Ma, you're never gonna Anderson complain. On there, I mean, you, you can never complain when Eminem drops music, though. You can just because there's always at least Legend, a few good bro. ones. Like, yeah, there always is a few good ones, and you know that's just him staying relevant too. Like for the culture, like people hate, and some I saw like tweets and the other things like, oh, I only listen to the uh, Eminem album because of like the Don feature, like the Juice feature, like, and that's it or something. I'm like, y'all gotta give this man some respect. Are you I'm like, shitting me? You're out of pocket saying some shit I mean, like that's, that. mean, that's an artist we grew up listening to, man. You gotta give him his due respect. He's an absolute legend. He came legend. up with he Dre, bro. Like, with, what do you and mean? And Dre is, uh, like, arguably one of the biggest names in hip-hop history, like, all time. Ever. He is a founding father Go watch father 8 Mile. Get fucking cultured. <laughs> oh, no. Get cultured, you that rap battle at the end of that movie is unbeatable. That tells you they just people just want to hate to hate. I swear, bro. That's, it just seems that's where society is taking us. Society is so negative all the time. It just pisses me off. Why can't we bring more positivity? Which that's we're, trying we're trying to, to do, do that. Yeah. That's something, you know, you got to shed light on stuff. Like, But going, hey, keeping it going, though, like uh, Money Talk, you had Rich the Kid and Young Boy. They released a video for that actually today. So bro, I need to watch that video. Rich though. the Kid is so underrated, bro. I fuck with this man. The wor- ever since the World Is Yours album, I swear I was hooked on Rich the Kid. Like I knew, He's like nice. damn, this kid's nice. He's got something, and I don't know, man. I just remember he came to uh, he came to Indy. I worked one of his concerts, and that night you did work that yeah, one. I, I remember that. I got that. kicked out of Murat. I'm not allowed to work there anymore because uh, I was working backstage at the show. And I told my I told my supervisor I was like yeah I got to get out of here at ten thirty and he and he said yes like I said I have to be home by ten thirty so I have to leave here by ten and he was like all right so I sent him a text at nine fifteen saying hey I'm gonna leave here at ten and he sent me a text back saying okay so I sent him another text at nine forty five and I said hey just letting you know I'm about to take off and he I didn't get a text back so I'm like okay he got pissed at you so then I left at ten. Because I sent him a text at 10.15 because I waited 15 minutes after I was supposed to leave because I didn't want to just be an asshole and leave right at 10, you know. So I gave mm-hmm. him some time to actually respond. He never responded. Got up, left, got a call back the next day. Not working there anymore. Well, that's a buzz kill. Well, but, did you get to hear the uh, I thought concert? you might have tried to ask for an autograph no, or something. I, I was, like, <laughs> yeah, the like the John I Mayer. Never saw <laughs> yeah. I never saw him one time. I no. was just backstage. I was making sure that no one was getting through this one d- random ass door. But I'll tell you right now, there were a lot of drunk motherfuckers at that concert. A lot of dudes getting rolled out in ambulances because they're so high off their ass. <laughs> it's almost a skill getting kicked out Jeez. while you were working. Oh, it's, it's damn near a skill. All I know is... <laughs> The dirtiest concerts to go... Well, not even... That's that's a very bad word to say. One of the, like, main concerts you try not to go to, just because, like, there are some dangerous-ass people that go to these concerts normally. The Tech 9 concerts, bro, you want to talk about... He's got a different type of crowd. Oh, Tech really? 9, yeah, those Tech are fucking nine. ragers, bro. Can, what do you mean? He can spit super fast, Oh, yeah, too. yeah, Tech 9's fire. I'm not the, doubting that, but I'm just saying... Every fan, fan in base, that audience probably does not get fucked with, like... If, oh. you, if you say one thing to them, they're going to give it right back Well, to shit, you. there were some of them that looked like they just shot up in the parking lot, bro. So it was a little <laughs> He's a little older, too. Yeah, yeah he's, he's kind of like, that's probably late 90s almost. Yeah, like, you're getting into that. He's, he's definitely an old head for sure, but he's damn good. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah, he's got songs with Kendrick. Too. Yeah, he's fire. That's what I'm saying. That like I, I really got into Rich, though, more when uh, just from listening to Famous Dex all the time growing up. I remember because Trent tried to get me to, into Famous Dex. Me and Dex, Trent and were hyped like, on nah, Dex, man. man. I mean, it, I'm not saying Famous Dex isn't a bad artist. I just don't necessarily listen to him. You so. all both got on to him from Plug Walk. Don't lie. Uh, no, I, listened I was to listening way before that. The album yours first. I didn't, because Plug Walk's like the fourth or fifth song on there. I'm pretty sure. I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, probably. I th- I'm not even sure, honestly. I haven't listened to that album in a minute. The Mac Miller album, boys. All right, yeah. Bro, he's the best. Come on, I'm let's gonna, get into this. I'm going to say on. it right now. Mac Miller is the best storyteller in hip-hop history, in my opinion. 
Like he makes he has such a great emotional appeal to every I'd say single one of his songs. Best storyteller story for the broad group of people. Yeah. It, it can relate to everybody. Yeah, yeah that's saying. what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that's yeah. my whole point. Yeah. I think that he can relate to a whole lot of people because a lot of the lyrics that he's spitting, people have actually gone through. Because I mean, I know he raps about depression and different stuff like that all the time and feeling lo- lonely and everything and how to cope with that. And I definitely think it relates to a lot of his audience. Obviously, a lot of people like him because of that. You know, I just like. Um... Like I started listening, I really only started listening to Mac when Swimming came out, and I I always hated that I never got to listen to him. Earlier. I was the same way, honestly. Um, but now that I've listened to him, I've went back and listened to a lot of the other albums and everything. And you're right, like you you said it to the T. Like he's a great storyteller right, and everything. Man. And I think it like they said. Uh, I was watching a video how this album is kind of like in relation to Swimming too, because it's just. To build that analogy, you know, swimming in circles, you know, mm-hmm. like that's that's what it was meant for. And I also found out the guy, um, John Bryan, he's the one of the producers, one of the main guys that was working with Mac on all this, and he um, gave like insight on how the songs were made. Yeah, each day. on Apple Music. Yeah, that those was dope. those those were the yeah. Apple Music little things. It's not every song, but it's most of the songs in the album. He'll basically say like. He'll kind of tell the story. It's right there, like, of like it's a little it quote, kind of like how Matt came in that day, kind of what they did, how they were feeling, and then just kind of how it came about and how they how they wanted the outcome to look. I, got I really started appreciating his music at, around that same time, and you know that was right before he passed away, and uh, like kind of after that happened, like I even. I know they say, you know, don't listen to somebody after they're already gone. But, it, like, it was I weird. legitimately, I, I liked him off that album. So, I was like, I, want, I started taking more of an interest. Like, I want to go back now and listen to more of his Bro, stuff. And ever I, since then, it, I it lo- was, love this stuff. It was kind of weird for me, too, because self-care was really, like, one of the first Mac videos I sat down and really watched on the internet. Mm-hmm. And then it was short. That was shortly before his passing. And then that, that was happened. Just that was kind of weird. Hell, yeah. Man. Like, that was, was super, very sad. super eerie. But I was on Mac back in, I'd say at least, like, 2013, 2014, when Nike Some My Feet came out. Do you remember that song? Oh, Nike okay, my yeah. Feet, think, I, I know, like, the <laughs> like that, yeah. Nike, 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 y'all don't remember that? Mm, I know, I know what you're talking about. Hot. And then, <laughs> it's gonna be the best day ever. That shit was nice, bro. But, dude, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, some good vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey, overall. I'm like, give me a little Grammy here soon. Yeah. That's some mm, golden vocals. Go for the the podcast Grammys. Yeah, that's what we I'm, I'm going to stick to podcast music. <laughs> this would not be my thing. But I got some yeah. fire shit written up in my notes. Y'all know that. Y'all know my written shit's fire. <laughs> you guys have memorized it by now. You know it is, bro. I've memorized the one. The, C- the CLLSE one, I've Bro, definitely Hey, that. Ray, Ray Shermer, Sway, Slim Jimmy, get me on that ASAP. <laughs> sure. ASAP remix. ASAP. A little ASAP from the Nap remix <laughs> featuring Shut Up Stormy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that would be hot. That would sell. That would sell some records. No, Hopefully we got some uh, more mu- good music coming in the coming weeks. Hey, you know, we got a... Uh, we got Rich Young in too. We can't. We got. We still oh, got a few Rich more to Youngin, talk about. Yeah, stunner, bro. Do that with the baby and little baby. No cap. That shit right off the bat. <gasps> I'm I'm hyped as hell that he shouted out uh, Lou Will. Like actually named a song hey, after him. Yeah. Cause I love Lou. <laughs> Lou <laughs> Will is is a legend in itself. He's a legend in himself. Best six man of all time. I don't think he was the one you guys said uh, was dating two. He had two. Yeah, like, he had two girlfriends. Two girls. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Baby for bringing up Stunna and like really teach him. Oh, you can tell. Sure, he's, I swear, sure. I, I've, I've never seen someone like blow up and bring like a guy with him. I know that's cool. As strong and like as powerful as they like. They they did not really want to separate. Like they I really mean, came up. Yeah, together. yeah, yeah. I think their relationship kind of reminds me with uh, Young Thug and Gunner's relationship because I think Definitely. Young Troop brought Gunner along, and then Young because th- Young Troop before he died basically told Thug like, "Hey, this guy's gonna be hot. You need take to care take him, him under his take him under your wing," and he did. And I think that that's is a very similar relationship between yeah. Stunna and the Baby because they, I think the Baby and Thug both knew like my. Obviously, my fan base is big enough to the point where if I start t- putting them on this, they'll shift over to him too, and then we can just build an empire. And that's exactly. our ultimate goal here. Smart. Just partner up with other, exactly. other media companies, different media outlets. That me. And it's a long process, but it's worth it in the long run. Oh, you know? for sure, man, for sure. But yeah, Stunna, 
And that's what I'm saying. Like hard. they they've been working hard. Like the babies told you, like he was he was moving. Like they were giving out CDs. They were giving out posters. Just walking around the city doing shit for promotion. Like he was everything. answering questions on his Twitter. If you would go and repost Stunna's album art. Like the yeah, cover, like, like go listen to it, then I'll talk to you. Like that's genius. <laughs> he made his his Instagram picture, his the album cover too. And like, then both coming up out of home, North Carolina, bro. like he said how long it took. Like it wasn't an easy process. They had to grind day in and day out to get to where they and were. At. The real what, ones get rewarded. That's what I'm saying, bro. And that's what people need to realize. Like, yeah, you may see from time to time like these random ass kids getting famous for like sayings like Lil Esco. Let's be a hundred percent real. The only reason why. I'm not I'm not hating on Lil Esco. Like, yeah, it's cool. You got popping. You're a four. That's great. Uh, but you got popping from. <laughs> All right, I'm a fuck with you. I'm an idiot. Like five words. Are you shitting me, bro? <laughs> like that's. But the thing is, you can't let that distract you from the fact that it does take time and effort to make something happen. You know, shit doesn't yeah. happen overnight really because like of social words. media. These different All people right, like that which <laughs> are getting popular, you know, like because social media does attract, like, are is attracted to that type of shit. It seems like, and mm-hmm. I'm not hating on his hustle, but it man, is. obviously, he, he said hustle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, that's now. just like how I see people always complain about. Like, I'll see complaints on Twitter about, oh, how why'd you blow this person up? Now they're so annoying, or this, this, and this. Like, I'm like. That everybody about here it. is the reason why the that thing, person got the clout. And the thing is, with <laughs> Lil Esco, like, yeah, it may it's annoying that he got famous off of, like, four or five words. But the thing is, now that he has that platform, you see him. He's putting out content literally every day. That's the whole point. Exactly, like, yeah. You, it takes, it's going to take a little bit of time. In some cases, it may not. But most cases, it's going to take time and effort. It's going to take years for something to develop. But once you do get that platform, you got to take the full advantage. Because you got to always remember, there's someone always killing to have your spot you know exactly. there's someone always chasing you right behind Thanks. you right on your tail you know and every time you're not every time that you're taking time away from you're doing slipping. something there's always somebody working still exactly so. bro exactly gotta remember Just that. can't fall behind but boys jack harlow and uh cole bennett partnered up yeah this tag team fire. this is got a this nice little music video too. shout out the bill shout, shout out to bill for sure for sure jack spit on that it's time to put some res- keep put some respect you, on jack that's Harlow's what i'm saying name. like no, that's, you, it's time bro it's you gotta time. respect we've been saying it it's time harlow's got that flow too he like, said he can get to travis's level i think yeah. this showed that he's got that potential he's got the there. potential it's just that's but the thing is what i was saying about the whole jack harlow argument is he needs to hit on a whole bunch of different aspects. I'm not saying it's not impossible. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is he's he's got now. Well, I he's thought this that, was a little different. Oh, this is definitely a step in the right direction. This is definitely taking a foot up the staircase, you know. And but Jetson killed that hey, beat too. Jetson, fire, oh my Lord, man. That baseline, Jetson made another one. I'm telling you, that baseline's nasty, bro. That's hot. That's hot the now. The keys in it are nasty. Who who else is? They who are. Else is producing they are. That's the best that. part. It's Jetson and then. I'm you a fool sure. for this one. Yeah, What's yeah, that yeah. dude's name? I'm Ooh, you a fool for this one. Cute of, uh, I don't know. No, I'm not cute. cute it's not cute of fool, but I'm not sure. He he shouts him out in the song too. But that's what that's what I'm saying though. Like um, with Harlow, like he's just got that flow. Like it's different now, and everybody's kind of realizing that now. And I like I said, the first time I knew about this guy was. Two three years ago, I was watching the Dark Knight video. It was the first night I ever saw the the first video I ever saw from him, and that's him literally just cruising around with his friends. They weren't I don't they were not that big at all at that time. They're just cruising around downtown Louisville. And at I night. think I think that's what's helped his his music is that he's all. I feel like oh, he's, he's always, always had a video. Too. He's always yeah. got a good video that, to go with it. So like it's always good visuals. Always like putting in work on videos and stuff. Exactly. So he's always thinking. And like you got to think too with him like. And he he said he said it in an interview. He said it on that no jumper interview. Like it did take a little bit of adversity at first uh, because he was white. Like it was like either at first people fucked with them or they just hated him. And then at first people finally started to come along. And now I think he's at at the point to where everybody's really hopping on mm-hmm. at this point. That's the thing, Manny. You said it literally maybe an hour before we filmed this. Hey, the congratulations. Versus the support, mm-hmm. like there's exactly. not everyone's gonna support you. We just ran into a case with that just last night. 
fuckers <laughs> don't want to support us all exactly. the time, but we're going to keep going. That's not going to phase us, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. We're just going to stay on that grind. Not, I'm not going to give a fuck what anybody has to say about exactly. it. Exactly. Well, the mm-hmm. last uh, last album and music that dropped that I'm really thinking is worth talking is the Revenge of the Dreamers oh, album. Oh, for sure, bro. They got the oh, director's, the director's cut, out cut out now. Oh, was nice. Big Black Truck! Hey, this shit is hot. <laughs> Hold like, up, bit hop out. That is, song. that is. But... I mean, I think as a whole, how many people it, do you think are in Dreamville? I think I'm not it's, sure. It's I don't think it's really group. like a set number. There was a documentary. There's a documentary on YouTube yeah. about it, and they literally had everybody Cole just, just opened a studio up, invited everybody, like, yo, come come out here and put in some work, and because I'm going to... There's like three I'm, different studios in the house, like four different studios in that house. It was like his, one of yeah, his houses. And you got people just sitting in there making stuff in rooms, people walking producers, through. Producers. Producers making songs. He went through, Smoke Perp got the invite. He People were literally just getting the... You had to get the invite. Mm-hmm. And it was like... And you know how like the things, like kind of like a Star Wars word on the cover, like the album yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of like how it was presented to him, and they were like... Shit, J. Cole, I gotta go to this. And that so made it competitive. Like, guys were in yeah. there like, well, yo, that sounds hard. I need to so, go get something. And it something was like, it was really it. like, they talked about there, it was really just matter of fact of you showing up, getting in, and trying to create something. It, it was, nobody was gonna be there to help you. You had, you just had to get in and make something. It was the competitive nature. And oh, Cole yeah. was, picked, They picked the best that. of the best. It brought it out the best out of everybody. Exactly. The competition always brings the best out of anybody. This album is so good, too, and I, I think that that shows why this was a product of I think, it. Like, I also think that these guys, Dreamville as a whole, are all really good at that's storytelling. A, that's an empire, bro. That's an empire, yeah, that's an too. Empire. So where would you rank same them? With the, uh, same with the beat. Is that the Beast Mode, the Joey Badasses Collective? That's a real good collective, too. Like, mm-hmm. So where would you rank these guys as a collective group amongst the other rap groups in hip-hop? Like, Would you say that they're up there up among there, the best? Dude. J. Cole was a legend. He's up there. Anything that's his you work. you say group-wise? Yes, like okay, as yeah. a group. Dreamville. I, I would say for sure, yeah. Like in, like I just said, I, the baby I just was on the album. Like, that, that's yeah, there's Beast. Some, there's some big on names the on there. Yeah. That's Beast Coast that I was thinking about with Joey Badass, Nick Caution, and all those guys. And that's more like Brooklyn type of people. And I don't know, like those three collectives like themselves are both in the game right now. Like they're going crazy right now. And Dreamville is more of those higher up people, I think, a little mm-hmm. bit. But yeah, they overall... I think they they cover so many different spectrums on the album too. Like there's high songs, there's vibe songs. It's very it's a very it unique a collective good variety, of like you songs. Said. Yeah, definitely. There's even like a few there's even like a few love songs on there. It's like this was the director's cut and they added twelve more songs. Like that just shows you how Bro, many how they much they were able they to get that's how much they had. They from were like, having all those people there. Yeah. That's what you were able to get I a lot of projects. And then all those like twelve songs that were added, they probably were in the progress of making most of those when the actual original Dreamville album dropped. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I guarantee they finally finished those up. It was like fuck it, let's just throw a, del- a deluxe exactly. cut, director's cut, whatever. You know, and it's I thought go listen to it. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure, for sure, no question. But yeah, I think a that of, a lot of new music, guys, and I'm um, looking forward to uh, some more upcoming music releasing this year. Hopefully, a whole lot of red drops this year. Eternal it takes some drops sometime remotely soon. Jake we'll Cole's see. got an album. Lil Baby's got an album coming soon. Russ got an album. Young Thug's soon. got an album coming in February. Looking like, forward to uh, our sneaker. Uh, Sneaker, sneaker culture, sneaker culture event. event that we're going to to Shout meet out to these local Indianapolis artists. Like we're trying to meet some Indianapolis yes. artists. Yeah. And if you haven't watched that Devin Faulkner interview, go watch that because that's Definitely. a pretty good one too. We Y'all talk a little me. bit about that event. No question, no question. But boys, overall though, I mean, let's just keep going with this, guys, and we're, we're going to keep doing the same type of us. stuff. Get at us. Yeah, local artists, get at us, man. Shoot us a DM if y'all want to interview sometime. We'll be more than happy to do an interview, man. Exactly. No yeah, question. we're trying to interview the word out as many people music. as we can. No question, man. But, uh, yep, this has been ASAP from the net. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.